The album page is the central space for discovering music in the Naxos Music Library. If you click the play button top right, the music will start playing from the beginning of the album. At the top of the page you can read details about the recording and the works included. Below this, there's a link to display the full artist details for the whole album. You can also show these details on a work basis, or indeed for every single track. As mentioned, the play button will play the full album. You can also select which parts of the album to play by clicking on a work, then play, or indeed individual tracks, and then play. One of the great features about the Naxos Music Library is the ability to view details about each individual work. Clicking the I next to the work will open a page displaying a wealth of additional information, such as the date of composition, the instrumentation, the publisher, duration, period, category, and then followed by a detailed description of the work. This is a unique study aid and makes Naxos Music Library an invaluable educational resource. The available recordings link will display all recordings of this work in the Naxos Music Library. This is a wonderful way of comparing different interpretations and performances of a work. Clicking on any album title will open that album and the work in question will be highlighted and in this case the tracks have been selected. Let's look at another album and here we'll see that the work in question has been highlighted but a previous track that had been added as a favorite is selected here. Let's now look at the icons at the top of every album page. Clicking the static URL icon will display the URL for the album, for each work, and indeed for each track. These URLs can be integrated into assignments and used as hyperlinks on external resources. Click the icon again to hide the URLs. The Favourites icon works on three levels. On the album view, if you click the Favourite icon, all tracks from that album will be added to your favourites list, which you find here. Selecting an individual work will add those tracks. And as you've guessed, if you select individual tracks, those will be added to your favourites list. On the favourites page you will then see all the albums containing favourited tracks. Clicking on the album titles will show you the tracks you favourited on that album. If you click the play button on the favourites page without selecting anything, all tracks in the favourites list will start playing. Select any of the albums here to play just those tracks. You can clear the whole list here by selecting all top left and then the trash can icon on the right. In a similar way you can select individual albums and delete them from your favourite lists here. Let's go back to the album page now and look at the other icons. The plus icon is for adding albums, works and tracks to playlists. If you don't select anything, clicking the plus icon will open the add to playlist dialog for the whole album. If you're the administrator of a Naxos Music Library account, you will have the option of selecting the Playlist tab for your institution here. In our example, that's the NML Tutorial Playlist. 
regular users can edit the contents of my playlists. I have already created two playlist folders here, home and study. To add more folders, click the plus icon. In the playlist dropdown, I can see the playlists that already exist inside a playlist folder. If you want to add tracks to an existing folder, just select the name and then save. If you'd like to create a new playlist, click the plus next to the drop down list and then enter the name of the new playlist here. You can also add details about the author and the remarks. The same can be done with each work and for each individual track. When you click the share icon, a dialog box will open and invite you to share the album on Facebook or Twitter. The add to queue icon on the right is really useful. When you're already listening to an album, you can freely navigate to another album and choose to listen to the new one after the current track or tracks. Clicking the Add to Queue without selecting anything will add the whole album to the queue. The same can be done for each work and track. If I now navigate to another album, select some tracks and click Add to Queue, you'll see that these have been added below the tracks I'm currently listening to. You can delete any tracks from the queue by clicking the trash can icon on the right. You can also clear the whole play queue using this link at the top right of the page. Finally, let's take a look at the left-hand side of the album page, as there's even more to discover here. I've opened the page for Wagner's Goethe demo. First you have the album cover. Click it here for a larger view. Then you have the label logo, and below that you'll find some very useful links. The booklet link is something special to the Naxos Music Library. This will open a PDF file of the full album booklet. Read the background to the recording with details about the composers, the works and the performers. In the case of our example here, Wagner's Goethe Demo, that's a 26 page file with a full synopsis and biographies of the performers. The back cover image is a shortcut to the most important information about an album. This is where you'll traditionally find all the relevant information about the album on one page, with the work info, the performers and the track info. Play Video will open a separate window and show all available videos related to an album. If there are several videos, you can browse them at the bottom of the page. Moving your mouse over the thumbnails will show the video description. Click the thumbnail to play the video. Hello, my name is Gunbrit Bargmin and I'm singing the Brünnhilde in the Götterdämmerung. For certain recordings there's a link to buy and download the album if you wish to have access to it outside of Naxos Music Library. Next are links showing the category, the composer, arrangers and lyricists, and all the artists presented on an album. Clicking the category will take you to the category page and show you all albums in the same category. There's more about this in a separate video. 
If you click any of the people listed as composer, arranger, lyricist or artist, you'll see additional information about them and a list of other albums they're presented on. Let's click now on Bamberg Symphony Chorus. This will take us to a page presenting the choir, followed by a list of albums they have performed on. If you click on the label link, it will show you an introduction followed by a list of all the labels albums available on Naxos Music Library. And finally, on the album page you can see the catalogue number and the release date for the album.